All right, so in here you can see we cooked it for about five minutes, brought it up to a boil. It's not totally thick, but you can see most of the liquid is uh, it's mixed with a curry paste. It has a little bit of a thickness to it. That's when it's time to add two more ingredients. Of course, the coconut milk. You don't want to drown it with coconut milk, but we're going to use probably three cans. I'm going to have to sort of eyeball it to see. But uh, yeah, probably three here. Okay, give that a stir. Oh yeah. You can kind of tell by the color, you want it to remain kind of dark. That way you know that it's not, hasn't been thinned out with that, that coconut milk too much. Or otherwise it really comes out kind of bland. Uh, one more ingredient, Masaman curry, always has peanuts. We got uh, dry roasted kind. Usually add them right now or slightly later. Not a ton, maybe a half cup. You can see my measuring cup, the cup is, as always, is absent. We're going to bring this back up to a boil and uh, we'll show you the last steps in a couple minutes. Okay, nothing too complicated has happened since the curry paste here, just a few steps. We're on to the last step here. That's to add the sliced chicken to this boiling. It's, uh, it's only been boiling for about two minutes since we added that coconut milk. And uh, once you get that chicken in there, you don't want the chicken to stick together or you'll have little raw pieces and little cooked ones and you want to give it a good stir. Make sure those are all separated from each other so it cooks. It only takes about a minute to cook, two minutes at the most. Any longer than that, it gets a little rubbery. Um, some curries, you need to add some sour at the end, uh, some lime juice. I don't. I think Masaman is best either with no lime juice at all or with a very, very small amount. So instead of traditionally finishing it with uh, a combination of sour and salty like most Thai food, I just go with the salty. And one of the biggest errors made in Thai cooking is not using enough salt. Most people don't think of Thai food as salty. It is definitely salty. It is very salty. This is some fish sauce, which is also very salt, uh, salty. I'm not going to get too carried away with any of that. But at the very end, you just got to taste it and taste it and taste it until the flavor comes up. But it really takes a lot of salt. But that is Masaman curry. And it is one of my favorites. And uh, that's just about right. So thanks again, Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, Monsmon Curry.